Hey Dom, this is David Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into the song of Permission to Dance and what has been said about it from armies all over the internet. I think this is very crazy and I have a lot of opinions on what is going on. I also want to get into why the tweetster is talking about a cutout Taekook kissing scene and what is going on with that. It's actually hilarious. So grab your dumpling and tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of any new video drops. Any of you are a hater, like to be first, leave your hate comment. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to get into today is I wanted to talk about the song. If you aren't aware, it is currently, if you aren't aware, it is currently out and I wanted to let you know very quickly how to stream properly. You have to watch the video all the way through, click on another video. You can do a reaction video, you can do this video, whatever you want to do, watch that video all the way through and then go back to the music video. If you just hit refresh on the music video, it won't count as two views. Those usually the views YouTube deletes when they delete the views, which is going to happen. So let's minimize what they delete and don't hit refresh. The music video takes place in the desert and the boys basically have a great time dancing and singing in the desert. The video has a lot of references to the song Butter, which simply showing butter on pancakes in the opening scene and also butter lyrics writing on the walls and stuff. The song was a reference to COVID and a post COVID world and basically how we are going to be able to have fun again in the future, which is beautiful. In the end, when everyone takes off their mask, it's very powerful. I love the fact that not only did they do all this, they also learned a bit of science language in the video. This is so beautiful as it will be able to reach everyone. Like no group should feel excluded. And that is also evident in the fact that the music video has a lot of diversity in there, racial diversity, as well as age diversity, and even diversity of different styles. It's really a perfect music video and it's just fun and makes you smile. There's literally no shot or scene where you will see any of the members not smiling. I would have never imagined they would make a video like this. It is for sure very different and cool and it's extremely different from their original style. They usually don't have a lot of Americans in their videos. It's usually just Koreans. And I love that they decided to go for a much more Western look and feel to the video. Now I love the video and the song. It's very catchy. And to me, a lot of people love it. But as always, when a video reaches that many eyeballs and attention, it is going to get good attention and bad attention. In fact, when you reach haters sending you hate and it's over dumb things, then you know the song has reached outside the fandom and is reaching new people, which is always such a great thing. People online were immediately talking about how the song sounds familiar as they usually do. Now I've mentioned before, pop songs are going to have a mosaic or a compilation of a lot of different sounds and sounds that may or may not have been used before. There's a wide range of sounds from static on TV or a blaring horn of a car, but those things aren't typically sounds that sound great. It's very jarring. So the range of sounds we find to be aesthetically pleasing to the ears have probably been done before. Songs have been made before already of this sound. A lot of pop artists simply take inspiration from older artists and use that to create their songs. Given this song was apparently written by Ed Sheeran, so it is going to have this pop soulful sound to their song. And that's what they were going for. They wanted something inspiring and uplifting, which is what this song is. People were saying that it sounded like Whitney Houston's Dance With Somebody. And pretty much in my opinion, just the chorus, that sounds remotely similar as the rest of the song doesn't. But so many artists take inspiration from the late Whitney. I think it's a compliment to Whitney at this point. Shows how iconic she is, that her songs is still relevant and catchy to this day. I don't think it was copied. I think it was inspired. And just like Butter was inspired by Queen, I think Permission to Dance was inspired by Whitney. People on the tweetster were saying things like this. I can't be the only one thinking about Dance with Somebody by Whitney Houston when PTD starts playing. Now these were some of the nicer ones. Of course, there were definitely meaner ones. Again, I do think it was inspired, just like every pop song in the world, but there were definitely people who took it to TikTok and made mashups of the two together. And it's beautiful. Definitely a good way to take some of the negativity and just spin it and be like, it's perfect. There were there were also people who were asking the song to be deleted, but from everyone's phone. This is a concept I am not sure I understand as I use Android and I think this is an iTunes thing. So there was this chart that was going around, like a stream account basically, saying you buy the song, open the app, delete the song from the library and then add it to a playlist. I don't know why Apple makes it so hard for your stream to count. If you bought the song and played it, it should be a stream. However, may I offer an alternative since everyone has Spotify already, you don't have to deal with iTunes, just go stream on Spotify. Spotify. People look at Spotify as such a big deal now and they also pay more. I think it's like $4 per 1,000 streams and they count towards charts as well. Apparently Tidal pays more. Don't quote me on that. I'll look into that but if you're on Tidal then you could stream there as well and don't deal with this deleting stuff nonsense which is actually just nonsense. I am not saying deleting and all this doesn't work. I don't know because I don't use it but in the 
time it takes for you to figure it out. You might as well just stream it on either YouTube or another platform. Also, if the only reason, especially nowadays, when you can rip a song from YouTube or if you have Spotify on your phone, just listen to it there. The only reason you would buy a song from iTunes is to support the artist. And people are saying if you buy it and don't do this delete thing, it won't count. That's the whole point of why we buy it. It's stupid. Go stream somewhere else. With the YouTube thing and not being able to hit refresh and have the view count, that makes sense. Because it could just be a robot hitting F5 on the computer, you know? So YouTube needs to verify it's a real user, watching the video, coming back to it. But if you're paying for something to stream like on iTunes, it needs to work. The internet was going crazy trying to promote this song and get it out. Something armies will do, which is so funny to me, is they'll make a fake note about the song. So they'll write something like, oh my God, Jungkook got naked. It's right there in the middle of the video. And then never write the timestamp. So people will go to the music thinking they missed a shirtless moment, watch the whole thing again and not see it. And then rewatch it again to see if they missed it and repeat. And it does help the stream a little bit, even if it's just one view. Because they are on the tweets to start going through comments of the song. Then they're probably not streaming the song. So this brings them back on the platform. And what YouTube does is they'll promote a video that brings mass people from another platform to come onto YouTube to watch that video. So if YouTube is seeing a lot of people come into YouTube from the tweetster due to the music video, they'll push the music video more. So the hilarious little bit that armies decide to lie about today is they wanted to talk about a Taekook scene. There was only one Taekook scene from what I remember and it was cute, but the internet flooded with people talking about Taekook and mentioning how there was a kissing scene that was deleted or cut. So people will go over there and check out if it was cut and where it might have been cut. People on the tweetster were saying things like this. LMAO, they deleted the kiss scene. Trust me. And they linked the music video there. And of course, probably a couple of hundred more people then went ahead and clicked the video to check it out. And while they're over there, they might give it a few more listens to help stream further. Of course, there were some people who fell for this. When I was new to the fandom, I 100% fell for this. But now I'm a little wiser. Not much. I'm still stupid. But I am a little wiser with ARMY and their actions. We promote BTS by any means, and we must get the word out about this song. I don't know what the goals of this song are. I think it is to beat Butter. I think Butter definitely blew all the other songs out of the water. And I mean all the other songs in this industry. It was record breaking. For sure, it will be difficult to break the record, but I think we can. I think at the very least, we need to get 100 million views. The song is such a good bop. It has such an amazing message. I really hope it gets played by everyone on American radio. I do remember literally hearing Butter everywhere I went and hope to hear a song this inspiring everywhere I go to. This definitely gives us all hope. COVID is not over. Hopefully it will be over in 2022, but it is definitely not over now. And the situation in India right now is still really bad. People are still refusing to get vaccinated. And because of this, I don't really see it ending anytime soon or even in the next year, which scares me. I think for now, everyone should continue to wear a mask and keep doing your thing. And the world will get back to normal soon. I believe it. And this song gives me that hope. And I hope it does for everyone else too. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check that out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. Currently, we do have a 10% off sale going on over there if you're interested in any of that. I do have a great time interacting with you guys over there as well as sending out cards and photo cards every month. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you go down in the description down below. It is the first link there. There's also a video over there that kind of explains how you can give back to this channel even more if you would like to do that. That video is on the front page and it's free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.